Hi there and welcome back to Kids Church. Today, we continue on our series called Walking with Jesus. We are still on Northcliffe Hill as our hikers are about to end their walk. We've been finding out how similar hiking is to our walk with Jesus. Did you know that God has created you with a purpose? A reason to be alive? Yes, <laughs> it's definitely true. The best way for us to discover our purpose is to walk with the Lord. When you complete a hike, you often wish you had invited more people to come along and enjoy the experience. Walking with Jesus is the same. The more we read God's word, choose to follow Jesus, invite our friends to church, obey Jesus, and use our talents, the more excited we should be to tell everyone about Jesus. Looking over this hill, I wonder how many churches and schools there are out there. How many people who aren't walking with Jesus? I am looking forward to telling more people about Jesus. Are you? Now let's join some friends from Zambia Project to worship. Oh, hey guys. Oh, and you caught up. I'm good, I'm good. That's good. How's your guys' walk going? You're all good. good. These rocks are slippery. Yeah, they really are. It's hot out here. I'm also, I'm thirsty, man. Are you thirsty? But, I got yeah. you, dude. I got you. Oh, thanks, dude. Oh, it's just the man today. He's got you water. Oh. Got my bottle in his Jeez. bag. Jeez, what a lad. Me. Guess what else he did? What? He helped me figure out a song for my new memory verse. Oh, that's awesome. I know, right? Can I hear it? Yeah, you can. <laughs> But let me first tell you where it comes from. Okay. okay. So it's from John 8 verse 12 and mm -hmm. it says, well Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, mm. but will have the light of life. Wow. That's such a cool verse, especially since we're like walking today. It fits so well. So relatable, right? Yeah. But we made a song, so do you want to hear it? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, but you got to follow on, okay? Okay. Wait. Let's let me try. 
Let me put my bottle down. Yeah, I'll give it my best shot. Okay. Uh. Hey. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me. Whoever follows me. Will never walk in darkness. Will never walk in darkness. But we'll have the light of life. But we'll have the light of life. And it's from, can you guess? Um, the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, it is from the Bible. But what book? It's actually from John 8, verse 12. Okay, I'll remember it this time. Okay, do you want to try again? Let's do it again. Okay, cool. And, hey. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me. Whoever follows me. Will never walk in darkness. Will never walk in darkness. But will have the light of life. But will have the light of life. Yes, good job. Yeah, so do you remember where it comes it. from now? John 8 verse 12. Yes, that was awesome. Yeah, well done. That was sick. I love that. I know it. I also love it. But do you think there's anyone else walking that we can teach it to? Like, um, is anyone else? Yeah, I actually saw some people, a group of people that just walked down here. Oh, cool. So they're not too far ahead. Should we go see if they want to hear more about Jesus? Definitely. Teach let's teach them the song, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's cool. Go. Let's go. Yeah, I do. I got my stuff. I got my stuff. Oh, I got my Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Church. This is week six of our Walking with Jesus series. Now, I hope that this series has been really, really good to you and has helped you to learn how to walk like Jesus because that's the whole point, right? Like, if you listen to these messages, then you should learn how to walk with Jesus, get closer to Jesus. Okay, now let's get back to the story of Jesus and his disciples now going back into the story we know what happened right jesus lived and he walked with these disciples for three whole years and he was teaching them and walking with them and they they, they were doing a life together right and one day jesus died well he didn't just die people actually killed him they crucified him yeah it's pretty rough and so he was dead and the disciples sad and hopeless and and they didn't know how to feel i'm sure they were pretty disappointed and wondering okay what comes next we were learning from jesus we were walking with jesus who do we walk with now he's the one who was teaching us and leading us right but i love the story because i know how the story ends jesus even though he was dead god raised him from the dead Bam! And after he was resurrected, he went back to his disciples and he had quite a bit to say to them. I'm reading from Matthew 28, verse 19 to 20. But I just want to emphasize verse 19, okay? But I read the whole thing and then I get back to verse 19. It says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let's go back to verse 19. This is what Jesus says. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Go and make disciples of of all nations right now the interesting thing here for me is that jesus actually calls them to go have you ever went somewhere right like maybe i don't know you've gone to the movies going to the movies is not the same as staying home and watching movies right you actually have to physically get up and go there and so that's what Jesus was saying to his disciples, that we actually physically have to get up and go to people. Which people? He says, all nations. Make disciples of 
all nations, how people to follow me from all nations. That means everyone. So if you go to a school and there's people who are the same race as you, same age as you, that the good news about Jesus is not just for them. It's for everyone else. People who are different race, different age, people who like different things, right? And so what Jesus is basically saying is, you and I need to learn to use our lives, our talents, to help other people become his followers and walk with him. So maybe you're watching this, and I don't actually know what your talent is. That's my question to you. What is your talent? Can you sing? Can you preach? Can you dance? Do you paint? I don't know, maybe you're just good with numbers or, I mean, whatever else. Maybe you can kick a soccer ball or pass a rugby ball or smash a tennis ball with a racket. Whatever gifts and talents God has given you, use those to help other people become disciples or followers of Jesus. Help other people through your life and your talents and your gifts to help other people walk with Jesus. And you're probably listening and asking yourself, okay, uh, how does that work? How, how does it actually work? I don't know. What am I supposed to do? I'll help you. So this is how it goes. It's a bit of a sequence. Like It's a, like a couple steps in the process. Step one, read God's word. Step two, choose to follow Jesus. Step three, Invite your friends to church. Step four, obey Jesus. Step five, use your talents. Step six, tell everyone about Jesus. You and I can tell everyone about Jesus. So if you can sing, use that gift to tell everyone about Jesus. Wherever your talent and your gift and your time takes you, if you have to go to school now, Tell everyone about Jesus. If you end up playing sports as a professional, tell everyone about Jesus. If you become a singer, tell everyone about Jesus. And so forth and so forth. If you become a doctor, just before you do what you have to do, tell everyone about Jesus. And that's it. That's how we walk with Jesus. It's not actually just about us, but we've got to help other people to know Jesus. I hope you guys are blessed by that. Most importantly, that you're challenged by that. I actually want to challenge you to go and read Matthew 28 again and ask yourself this question. Jesus, well, you're actually asking Jesus. Jesus, who in my world do you want me to tell about you? And once he shows you those people, be brave and you tell them about Jesus. Until next week, be blessed. Be brave, be bold as you tell everyone about Jesus and you walk with Jesus. Goodbye. Hey kids, I hope you've really been enjoying learning all about how we can walk with Jesus. And today we learned about how we can tell everyone, I mean every single person, about Jesus. Hasn't that been cool? Yeah, and I absolutely love to hike. And today, I'm currently on top of Norcliffe Hill. And I love coming here because I can see so many different places. On this side, we can see Johannesburg City. Behind me, you can see all the way to Santon. And then this side, we can see Northgate. Isn't that cool? And then in front of me, all the way that way, we can see Reuterport. And I love, love, love seeing so many different parts of our great and amazing city. In our great city, there are people that don't know about Jesus yet. And that's why it's important for us to tell everyone that we encounter about Jesus. Now, there are languages in our world that do not have the Bible translated into their specific languages. There's actually three in 10 people in the world that don't have the Bible in their language. Isn't that sad? It's quite sad, but there's good news. 
don't know if you guys realize, but the song that we sang earlier comes from Zambia. And in Zambia, there's something called the Zambia Project where there are missionaries that are actually partnering up with the communities to translate the Bible into their language. I absolutely love, 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 love this beautiful fact. So will you guys pray with me for people that don't actually have the Bible translated into their specific languages? Like in India and in Russia. And today, I actually want you guys to join me as we pray for these countries. I want you guys to close your eyes. Better be closing your eyes and we're going to pray. Okay, I want you guys to use your own words as we pray for these countries. Okay, are you ready? Father God, I thank you so, so much for our beautiful world. I thank you for our beautiful country. And Lord God, I pray right now for India and Russia, Lord God. I pray for people to hear more about you, to hear more about Jesus, to learn more about how Jesus loves them. I pray for the kids in those specific countries, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that may you teach them all about you, whether it's through song or through word of mouth or having the Bible translated into their specific languages. And Father God, I just pray that may you help us to have the courage to tell everyone about Jesus all around us, people that we know and we meet for the first time maybe, may we have the courage and the boldness to tell them about your love and that you care about them specifically. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed praying with me and now we're going to answer these questions. So I hope you got your thinking caps on and you're ready to answer questions. Let's go answer.